Well, what's the crack? Blue Hydrangea here from RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 1! And I am back with another Blues Beats, the mini-series where I bring you through every single look I did or could have been stunting on the runway of RuPaul's Drag Race. This episode was the grand finale! So congratulations to not only the Vivian, but the whole top three. They all were so amazing. And as I said on the show, they have taught me so much about drag. And all I can hope for is that they go out and show you all and teach you all so much more about drag because they're amazing, amazing queens. Anyway, enough about those fucking bitches. <laughs> It's time for this bitch. And this is the look that I would have worn for my finale extravaganza eleganza. And I'm ready to show you how I did the makeup for the final blues beats of RuPaul's Drag Race UK season one. Thank you so much for watching. I have really appreciated it. This is not the end of the series though. But without further ado, let's get on with the look. So I'm gonna start off as per usual with my MAC full coverage in NC15. And I actually just bought a new one. Ooh. Just gonna pop this all over my face. Just gonna point that into the skin using my beauty blender. Gonna go in with my MAC full coverage in white down the center of my face, just to feminize. And then again, using our little sponge, we're gonna blend that out. Using my Crowlon TV paint stick in 7W, I'm gonna sculpt my face, just the cheeks, the chin, the jawline, and the forehead. And using the flat side of my sponge, I'm just gonna buff that out. And now that that is lovely and blended, we are going to go down our nose and contour the life out of it. And again, we're going to go in and blend that out as per usual. I watched one of my videos the other night and realised how many times I said, and I'm going to go in. So if I say, and I'm going to go in, make sure you take a shot every time I do. Eyebrow time. So I have some blonde hair to wear uh, for my finale look. Um, so my eyebrows are going to be like a brownie, taupey colour. Going for quite a thin brow today actually because I want it to look more regal and approachable and friendly and not like big block bitch drag brows, you know? And then we'll go in and clean up those brows using the white full coverage foundation. And then using my little fake flash palette, I'm gonna mix up a colour, a little bit of green but mostly the blue to get the colour of my dress. So I'm going to do it really buffed out. I might even go through the brow a little bit. I don't want anything too fierce, so I'm keeping it really rounded as well. And now that everything is in place, we are going to powder, just to make sure that everything stays exactly where it needs to be. <laughs> oh no, it's getting all over my Frock Destroyers jumper. <laughs> Available on bluehydrangea.com. And then I'll dust that off. Um, and hopefully underneath it should be the base for our makeup. So I'm just back from the season one UK tour and um, I had the best time uh, with Alyssa Edwards, who was our host. She was amazing, such a sweetheart, not even the slightest bit of a diva. Also, the show was fabulous. Everyone was great. Everyone really turned it out. Yeah, so that was really cute. I'm gonna miss all the girls. I feel like that's the last time we'll be together until DragCon, but at least there's DragCon, so we'll get to see each other and have lots of laughs and lots of fun. Gonna go in and contour with Harmony, which is my favorite contour color. And just to ensure that it all looks clean and tidy, I'm gonna powder under my cheekbones. And my face is literally gagging for some blusher, so I need to add some right now. And just when you think, you can't get any more blush on your face, just keep adding it. <laughs> and now it's time for the eyes. To start off, I am going to bake down the sides of my nose, just in case any fallout lands. Plus what I like about this little sponge is you can get a really straight line. Straight, what's that? I've never heard of that, don't know what that is. In the Carnival palette, I'm going to go in with Showboat, which is a lovely teal colour. And it is going to be my mid-tone for the eye, so I'm just going to pop that all around where I believe the crease is going to go. And then using a lighter pepperminty kind of colour, it's called Why Though, from the same palette. I'm going to buff that out. 
I'm just going to bring the colour just through the eyebrow a wee bit too because I want it to look really smoked out. Make this blend as massive as possible. And then using a mix of the deep navy and the green, I'm going to just deepen that. And then just in key areas like the outer corner, just to add a bit of depth, I'm going to add some black, but not too much. I'm just going to take a bit more of that peppermint colour and just run it around the edges. And then I'm going to take my special gift from Alyssa Edwards, Gag Me Extreme Frost by Jeffrey Star. And I'm going to use that just to blend out the edges of this eyeshadow. It's probably a bit more blue than I'd like, but the glitter and stuff is so pretty in it that it will just work perfectly to kind of blend the edges out into the skin. I'm going to go in and use a little bit of the white just to cut the crease. Using a white eyeshadow, I'll set this area. And then there's a little shimmery shade called Peppermint. I'm going to use that to blend from the white into the darker colours. Before I pop on some liner, I am going to put on some glitter onto the eye. So you'll want to keep your bake there so that any of the glitter that falls out will land there. Pat on some different sizes and shapes and colours of glitter just to add a bit more texture. Then it's time for some liner. I'm actually feeling that the liner shouldn't be too dramatic. I think it should just be a little line from here to the outer corner. And a little bit of black in the waterline as well. Never hurt. And then we'll do the eyebrows. Yes. Slay. Walk. I'm in my heel. For the brows, I'm just going to deepen. I'm going to just add some little brow strokes and that'll be pretty much it. But that is pretty much the eyes done. So I'm going to do this eye off camera, pop some contact lenses in, pop my eyelashes on and I will see you shortly. Fabulous! So I have popped in some Desio eyes in Innocent White. Um, I popped on some lashes which are What A Drag, Femme Tops and uh, Give Face 301s stacked on top of each other. I also added some rhinestones because uh, it was the finale and I just wanted to look the best. I wanted to come back and Rugo, shit, she shouldn't have went home via rigor mortis. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> and whenever I walked out in that runway, Rue looked me up and down and I just knew that I was like the glamour, you know? I was the real winner. <laughs> and for the finishing touches just before the lips, I'm gonna highlight. I'm gonna use some Fix Plus Coconut. But this is my favorite. I've, I've tried different ones, but Fix Plus is the best. I'm gonna use um, Jeffree Star again in Gag Me. And then, and then last but not least, it's time for a gorgeous nude lip. Going in with Spice Lip Pencil, which is one of my favourites of all time. Just going to go in with some Huda Beauty in Bombshell. This is like a good old trusty kind of lipstick colour, just to help blend in that liner. And then in the centre, I'm going to fill it in with Flesh Pot which is a really, really nude lipstick from MAC. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to take some Be Perfect Cosmetics. This one, I, I don't think it has a name. It's gorgeous gloss. And with that, I'm pretty... And with that, the look is pretty much done. I'm going to go put on the hair, the outfit, the jewellery, the jewellery. <laughs> the gloves, and I'll see you in a second. Bye! Don't show and this is the final look. This is not the end of Blues Beats. I will be continuing to beat my face as much as possible. So please stay tuned for more content coming your way. And if you like this video, then please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends who need some makeup tips. Send it to Davina DeCampo. <laughs> Cause she needs some makeup tips. I'm only joking. And yes, I'll see you soon for more content, more Blues Beats. I have one coming soon with Miss Scaredy Cat. 
So keep your eyes peeled for that and your claws out. And for the final time of RuPaul's Drag Race UK season one, uh, thank you for watching and bye.